Does it really matter what type of insulation you have for your floor heating system? The short answer is yes, because you can have a lot of problems later on if you do select the wrong type. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that now. I'm Phil from Euroheat and we've been designing and installing floor heating systems for over 30 years and we've seen a lot of the good, bad and the ugly over this time. There are two main factors you need to consider. Sure, there are lots of different types of materials and they all behave differently, but the mo two most common problems we see with insulation with floor heating systems, whether they're in screed like this or let's say underneath uh, a structural component like an on-ground slab. So those two faults that we often see are one, the compressive strength, and two, the moisture absorption. So first of all, the compressive strength, it's pretty straightforward. It's just how strong is it? How much weight, how much force can it take before it starts really squishing? And therefore, if it starts squishing, that means whatever's above it has to sort of move too. So if it's too soft, then what you'll find is the floor might move a lot, you might get cracks in the floor, um, you might have other problems such as uh, buckling or unevenness or drumminess under the floor. And so you're looking for something that has a high compressive strength. Now it does depend on what sort of system application the project, but generally we would recommend at least 150 kPa um, at 10% deformation. And that's a standard uh, characteristic that you can find on all the data sheets for insulation. The second part is moisture resistance. Now, we see uh, people use a lot of, I want to call it popular insulation by a company that makes really good insulation, but they use it in the floors and it's not made for the floors. It's made for being in walls and in say roofs, other spaces, which aren't exposed to potential moisture. And this applies to not only screeds, but mainly for those, uh, let's say underneath your slab. And what happens is if you choose the wrong insulation and it absorbs moisture, even though it looks, it might not look too dissimilar to this, and it might feel really strong and it might look really good, but if it does have this ability to um, suck in moisture, not just at once, but let's say over time, what happens is the insulation rating of the insulation dramatically decreases. So you can think, you boot, I've got this insulation, which looks great, works well, really strong. And sure, it might start uh, the first, I don't know, year or something. It might be working well. Your floor heating system is great. There's no issue. But then as time goes by, you start noticing that your energy bills are going up. Um, you need more heat in the house. It just doesn't feel the same. And often the reason is, that the insulation has started absorbing moisture. And instead of having, let's say, an R value, which is started off at, at R1, let's say, it now might have an R value of 0.2 or 0.3. So it's much worse at preventing the heat from, from going downwards into the ground. It's actually letting a lot more heat through because water is a really good conductor and, and, and um, tr energy transfer mechanism, or medium, I should say. And so it's just basically that water that's absorbed by the insulation helps suck away that heat. So they're the two main reasons. And actually while we're here standing over this uh, floating floor screed installation, another issue that we see that's common is that people use a foil faced insulation for this. And that foil you might find with certain screeds can have a chemical reaction. And so sometimes, you know, people come and they'll say, what are all these bubbles in the screed the day after, you know, or a few days later? And that's because the screed reacted with the, uh, the aluminium or the foil facing and it's created gases and then that's bubbled in through the screed. And so what happens is it weakens the insulation and it weakens the screed where all these bubbles are forming. And that might lead to problems down the track. It might seem okay right now, you know, you step on it, it sort of seems okay. But later on, you know, with the, all the tiny bits of movement in the screed and the house in general, you might have a problem. So don't use foil faced insulation. When I say foil, I mean like aluminium shiny foil um, faced insulation for uh, screed applications like this. So if you're looking for a well insulated floor heating system, whether it's in screed or in slab, please do give us a call at Euroheat. 
we'd love to help you. We've been helping people for over 30 years with systems like this. Um, and we love to have a great result for the customer in terms of energy efficiency and comfort. And so we can help you with that too.